Hello, uh, this is Ibrahim again, and uh, this tutorial is basically a continuation to the previous one where we touched upon uh, converting from RPG to HSV, and uh, we briefly talked about creating some sort of a mask. And uh, it was very brief because of the lengthy video in the previous tutorial, so I'll be talking briefly about this topic on this video. Uh, so if um, I told you I've added in the description in the previous tutorial I've added a link to, to the possible color spaces There are numerous ones um, You could obtain them by the way using uh, this approach in which you loop through a list of um, By doing so say for example all of the flags that you would want to see flags would equal uh, Let's give it a space here and uh, flags would equal say for example color in color sorry color for color and directory of cv2 ah come on directory of cv2 if the flag starts if the color dot starts with yeah, starts with, and then we give it a, a string color underscore. So the what will this do? This will basically load all of the um, flags that start with a color from the CV2 library and stores them in a flag. So what we could do now is basically print the flags like so. Print flags. Let's comment this thing, let's comment these out. So I'll just leave them here. Oh, let me do this better. Yep. So let's uh, output this and see what's the result. Yeah, sure. This is the result. And then you can see all of these are conversions we could do using uh, the flag, color, and the score. And then we could convert to could use all these color spaces here uh, you could go through them if you please and this is what we've been using uh, RGB to HSV now back to our tutorial so the reason why we use uh, HSV the reason why we would convert to SS sorry to let me comment these out yeah the reason why we should oh I'm not sure why is this minus one I've already chosen to be one probably a typo or something so yeah the reason why we convert to HSV is basically it's easier to play with colors using H HSV, saturation, hue and value. It's easier to play around with these numbers to obtain a proper color than using the PGR or the RBG colors. In that sense you will basically, for example, for example the most common or the most widely used examples is basically say for example you have a palm and then or the stop sign and then when it's in the shadows it, the probably the color would look a little different it may not look reddish or so but if you use the HSV you'll probably be playing around with the hue or the saturation it will probably get it will probably if it's sh if it has a shadow it will probably have the same hue uh, no matter what color it is so in that sense it's easier to play around with the HSV and in and in um, visualizations or imagery uh, computing it's always best to play around with these and there are of course numerous other methods the models that you could utilize to play around with the colors so in this method let's play around with um, with this one with this conversion so we will be able to play with or we will be able to filter out a specific color from the frame so what we are planning to do now is basically get a frame play around with the frame, ignore all of the other colors and keep a single color say for example a red color and then um, in each frame we will be uh, ignoring all of the other colors and then leaving out a single color say we want to only show a red color in the whole frame if it's red show it, if it's not do not show it so what we need to do we need to specify the color range Specifying the color range in the previous tutorial, I did not properly explain how to do so. So basically this is the HSV representation. 
say for example you would want to obtain a um, say for example you want to uh, let me get let me let me start a new shell uh, Python shell one second because I think it's easier to explain it on the shell uh, than me talking you probably hate my voice by now so yeah this is it so for us to, to convert a color to HSV you could either use any online tool to do the to, to, to basically get the HSV value or you could use um, Python itself OpenCV since it's already uh, it already has this capability of doing so if you remember so let's import CV2 and let's import um, NumPy NumPy as MP so now we have the two libraries set and ready now say um, green is basically if it's in the RBG representation it's basically uh, or red so we're talking about red here so red is basically 255 255 in red 0 in the green and 0 in the blue that's, that's the RGB representation so red would equal numpy dot unsigned integer 8 if you remember in the previous video I touched upon this one a little bit and then we said that it's basically a representation from 0 to 255 which makes a complete sense for representing them representing the colors so for red it's 255 and then 0 for the green and 0 for the blue so that's it so that's the pretty much that's the representation of the color red and now we need to convert it to um, red underscore hcv we need to convert it to hsv format so what we're going to do we are going to use the cv2 library convert color convert color like so and then we're going to specify the color red if you remember in the previous usage of convert color we basically uh, added a frame instead of a color and then we added the flag in this case we're basically converting this color uh, to HSV so you can see that we can do what we've done with the frames we can do with colors so BGR to HSV HSV like so and then we close parentheses and then what we could do now is basically just print red underscore HSV and then this is the HSV representation so it's 120, 25, 255, 255. So this is the basically this is the red representation. It's always safer to add a 10. So in this case it's 130 and for the lower uh, boundaries of the, of the color red. Now this is upper red just to make things readable. It's best that we decrease, decrease um, 10 in this case since it's 120 we decrease it to 110 and then uh, we know that we know something for a fact that it's always a uh, uh, sorry uh, for a fact that um, in RGB the saturation this is the basically the saturation and the values are basically 100% 100% which is 100 100 and so on and so forth so in this case we'll just leave this and minimize this and since this is a 255 this will be 100 and this is 100 and then we minimize 10 from the hue so we get the saturation and value like that so now we get the ranges the upper and the lower so the mask that we create so that we could uh, put it on top of the original frame to mask out these uh, any other colors aside from these I hope that makes sense so we low supply in the frame and then the lower red and then the upper red and then we apply a bitwise and like so and then we supply in the mask so let's go ahead I think that's it the rest is from the previous tutorial so I advise you to, to go to the previous tutorial if you've missed anything let's run this the camera should be in the this window right here there we go so let me see, let me adjust the camera.
Now everything is darkened except for maybe a little I don't have a proper red here it just showed a, a while ago now all of the colors are blocked out and you can see that there is a little red because I do not have a proper red with me I'm just holding a, a post-it note that's colored red and then you can see that it's kind of showing that's my finger I've just removed my finger I probably uh, you can see my fingers here it's probably a, they have a bit reddish on them probably I have no clue I don't see it anyway so this is the now it's basically I'm just trying to get my fingers out of the lens because it's a post-it note it just keeps moving and then there you go you can see that uh, the red is actually showing there it's a bit noisy there are several methods you could smoothen things out but basically this is how things work so you just play around with the values in the upper and the lower boundaries and then things would be good to go there you go and I'm actually shooting this a little in the evening so things are not very uh, bright in here so yeah uh, this basically what we are uh, that's basically it let me press escape yeah so basically that's the general idea behind filtering colors by, by using the HSV uh, format or HSV coloring model so yeah I think uh, that would be all for this video I think it's best that we make it short and it's best I think we should make videos a little shorter just so we won't be bored so just a quick recap we've imported uh, it's basically the continuation from the previous tutorial so what we have done is we basically utilized HSV HSS sorry HSV model hue saturation value and it's a great model coloring um, model for uh, to detect actually colors and work with colors. It's much more efficient than the BRG uh, Also one other thing we've uh, looked at how to display the possible flags that we could utilize um, Another thing we've uh, done today in this tutorial will actually uh, Masked out a color. Uh, it did not work very 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 well because of my environment and the lightning issues that I'm having now It's basically I'm shooting this video in the evening uh, but basically you could um, use the same approach to detect something and uh, for the HSV colors uh, the boundaries that you could use in the mask uh, you could either use uh, the approach we've done using the uh, Python uh, using convert color and then we supply in the color instead of the image just like we've done here and then we convert BRG and then we would BRG to HSV HSV and then we would get the HSV value for that given color and then we add 10 to it and then we minus uh, we deduct 10 for the lower bound and then we use those as ranges in the mask so that it would filter out those and then we would use bitwise method with the AND implementation for the given uh, for the result frame and the mask that we want to uh, and then and then the and the mask sorry and the mask that we want to use so yeah i hope uh, that was useful and uh, if you have any questions feel free to send them my way so yeah have a good day goodbye